Hey, how you doing? Welcome to another chapter of Comments from the Peanut Gallery. And I have, we're, we're in Revelation 21 and 22, and guess what? <laughs> I made a mistake. Like, oh no, I was wrong. What was I wrong about? Well, you see, hmm. When we filmed last time, and I posted the video, edited it, posted it, and something was just, something, Spirit Helper, was just kind of, he was going, hey, you need to look at this again, because you got something wrong, buddy. And of course. So, I'm looking at stuff and going, okay. Some of the tenses, tense, past tense, present tense, future tense, something seems incorrect. So, I brought up a program on the computer, eSword. You ever hear eSword? Fantastic program. Free, costs no money. You can just download it to your computer and it puts it out there. <clears throat> the snow is really deep and it's cold. But it puts this uh, the eSword program where you can see uh, I, I study mostly in King James, okay? Uh, but in this program, you can bring the Greek up where at each word as it goes along, you know, in a, you can look at it just like you're reading through, you know, through King James Bible, through Revelation. And then you push a button and next to each word is a number that corresponds with, so you can look at that word in the Greek or in the Old Covenant, we'll go to the Hebrew, but where you can look at it, and if you hover the little thing over the top of that number, it will show the definition of that word. Or if there's no word there, like you see me get after the word things, like Romans 8, 28, and we know that all things, wait a minute, as soon as you have a thing, it takes from a, takes it from a concept or an idea or a something and goes to a tangible substance. Anyhow, the word things, even though it shows up in the King James like 800 and some times, there's actually only a word behind it, I think in the whole New Testament, like 17 times, is the word, or the Greek word that would mean things, is it actually there? So I went to look at this thing that was bugging me. Spirit Helper was bugging me, going, hey, take a look at this, buddy, take a look at this. You better take another look at this. And so I get back there, and I was talking with the camera girl about it this morning, and she says, what's the matter? I said, well, this has been bugging me about Revelation and John and I, John, saw the holy city, you know, coming, coming down from God out of heaven. And I said, it's bugging me, the tense of it, like on the ship, the way that it's written when you get to verse 3, it's that Revelation 21, verse 3, where it says, Behold! The tabernacle of God is with men. And when I saw that, or when I was reading about it, I said, I said, and I was telling camera girl, I said, the tense of it seems like it's, like they're not on the planet, like they're someplace else. And she goes, huh? And I said, yeah, like, uh, the way that it's written is it's it's like they're already they're not on the planet that they're like they're in the ship when i look at the greek and i go it's, that they're already the people that he's talking about and john himself is like they're not on the planet like they're in the ship 
and and I did the last two deals like John's looking from Earth up to the sky and watching the ship come down from up there coming towards Earth. <laughs> and she says, well, <laughs> she just looks at me and she goes, <laughs> well, you're wrong. <laughs> and I go, what? <laughs> and she, <laughs> she says, okay, this is She says, it's after, after the, you know, the fire consumes everything. And all the people leave the planet. Where do you think they went? Oh, well, uh, uh, I guess they went to the ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I said, oh, camera girl, I guess you're right. Well, uh, you know. Uh, I was wrong, you were right, and so, uh, anyhow, I was wrong, when John sees the, oh, I just, how, how does verse 1 start? Hmm. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Okay. <laughs> When he's looking at the planet and saying there's no more sea, he was looking at it from the ship. And I know it's a vision that Spirit Helper gave him, but he brought it, brought him where he would see it so clearly that he is from the ship looking down at the planet. Oh, no, look at that. Look at that. A new heaven and a new earth. And look at that. There's no more sea. <laughs> Oh. Anyhow, the perspective of where John was in verses 1 and 2 and going forward, he's on the ship already. And how are they running to all of the people, God's kids that have left the planet? They got their heaven suit because this is a future thing that John is seeing and those that are on the ship they have their heaven suit, unbreakable forever. <laughs> How can they push the buttons and pull the levers as the crew functions on the ship? Just fine, no problem, because they got their heaven suit. There's all sorts of things that past tense, future tense, you know, present tense. Going, it, all, it all makes a difference. <laughs> so, she informed me, and guess what? I stand corrected. <laughs> uh, well, you know. It's a unique thing in that unless, unless you're willing to take the seed and plant the seed, you're never going to get what that seed produces. The seed of the word. If I had looked at her and said, no freaking way, you're way off base. And I had taken, she was just taking a piece of the word saying, hey, look at this. Are you willing to plant the seed of this word in the garden of your heart and let it grow? Or are you going to stay stupid? That's what she was saying to me. <laughs> she said it, she says stuff in a very nice manner. <laughs> But she was nicely telling me, hey, you're wrong. You want to stay stupid or you want to know the truth? I said, oh, I want to know the truth. Huh? Hope. He is the God of hope. Godly imagination. Take the seed, plant the seed. I took the seed, planted the seed, and it only took a few minutes to get my thinking squared away and then go back and look at it again from... Oh, he's on the ship already because the beat, the fire that consumed the whole planet had already happened. And his perspective at, perspective at that point in time that Spirit Helper was giving him was his view from being on the ship 
in outer space looking down at planet Earth. Huh. I said, that's really cool. I like that. Huh. Imagine that. Well, first, if you can dream it, you can, you can do it and enjoy the journey as you go.